Hello there, I'm Alger, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 Aztec Sunset Invasion. I actually played for quite a few years, and I accidentally did that by leaving Spacebar off <laughs> for a while. Uh, and also I thought I was recording for a little bit, but nothing has really happened. Very little has happened. Uh, however, our king did die, so we have our 664 heir, which is 61, and his heir is 642, which is okay. I would have preferred higher military stats. But what can you do? It's, you know, you're limi we're limited in what we can do. We are going to need a good king to have a decent military score eventually, though. Uh, we've been continually expanding. There have been no wars, no anything. We oh, I'm completely sorry. We did actually annex Kish. Kish. We annex Kish. Oh, which reminds me, I should really be fabricating a claim. Oops, fuck me. On our canal. Uh, we have been continuously colonizing. Look how much more land we have. We've been trying to nab as much. I think these are a couple. These are new. Uh, I just grabbed a couple around here. I was trying to isolate them. My plan is to get the coast. So I was going up here because I wanted to block it off because it is still part of the Chesapeake Trade Note now. And this one is coming as well. Uh, and I would like to block France off eventually. So like going here. That's quite a high priority. Yeah, that's quite a high priority. To block France off from further expansion. And soon we'll have the, this bit connected, and then we'll have to go these ones, and these. And then from there, it's going into Mobile, Adelaide, and these guys. And then we will have a connected border, which would be really nice. Eventually we're going to need to wage some wars with Spain to take these territories. But, uh, yeah, honestly, very little has happened. I built some more trade fleets as well. The 20, we've got 24 ships now in, in both the Caribbean and in Chesapeake Bay. So we're making 1160 there. That's quite a lot. And, I'm very sorry, we finished our quality, quantity ideas. Just, you know, waited for it. Getting the Land Forces modifier and unlocking, this is the best part, a new policy, the Colonial Sentiment Act. Meaning... <coughs> Ooh, pardon me. Meaning, we get an additional colonist and an additional global settlement increase. Which means, we can have four colonies without uh, suffering penalty. So we're only suffering one penalty. The penalty, of course, being after four colonies, it costs double. And so I took a new idea group because I got the necessary administrative technology and I took trade ideas. I just thought it seemed a very good idea. So I took trade ideas to try and increase the amount of value we get in trade and assume we're going to have trade efficiency, trade steering, and trade income modifier. And that's going to really help our money. It's also going to reduce the cost of diplomatic technology. Uh, and the next idea group we're probably going to take is maybe administrative... Eh, not really. A bit lame. Innovative? It's a bit late for innovative. Humanist? But probably a military day to further reduce the cost of military technology. So, we're just going to continue on with our, our little strategy of basically just colonizing. Oh, better relations over time. Oh, nice. Border friction. I don't care. Oh my. They are not my fans. And they have a couple of technologies over me. So we're making a very large amount of money. Uh, one colonist is going to arrive in a year. It's be there. And our other colonies are coming along nicely. And we're currently colonizing this area. Bay of Godola. Quanoi. Doig. <laughs> Doge. <laughs> it's called fucking Doge. And Santi. Because Santi I took out of all the provinces on the coast, because the AI is most likely to gain provinces that obvious that to colonize provinces that help it directly. And all these provinces are three base tags, but Santi is the only four base tags province, so that's a very high priority for the AI. So I went and nab that quickly. I'm actually quite surprised. I might end up with the entire coastline of this. I'd be very happy if that's the case. There've been no real wars. Saxony is still empire. They passed a from it, they passed a thing, I think. Catholic is the official faith. I have 67 papal influence, which is quite nice. If I can get legitimacy, money, mercantilism. I'll probably spend it on that when I can. Holy war! Oh, it's just. Manpower. Boring. Saxony's been re elected.
Yeah. It's just honestly, it's it's not boring. Yep, Spain's finished out that bit, so they own that entire section. Kind of losing South America, but I now Panama for myself. I've got some rebellions happening with Kish. Of course, we took this territory. Oh, I think it's over here. So we are going to have some rebellions pretty imminently. Mm, oh dear. We can have some rebellions in Eximish. There. And in Zono and Kakal. Kind of rebels are they? Bugger. The Yucatay Patriots. Ah, oh, that's not an issue. So really, I should actually be moving some Trevor. Let's do that. That's fast. If the time is right, I'll just uh, annex these guys. Oh, congratulations to Sandy. Oh, nice. We have no desire to go to any kind of war yet. Don't want any of that stuff. Stuff. No, they've taken it. They've done it. Oh no, they've grabbed a province, my buddies. It's very bad. Oh dear. So, France has now been the first non Aztec nation to encroach, except for Spain, where I blocked them off nicely, to encroach upon the mainland. I mean, up here doesn't count, obviously. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to grab this after that. It's very unfortunate. Let's just hope France never declares war on me. That would suck a lot. There we go. And now we'll convert everyone. Of course, that means we're going to have a lot more rebels. Yeah. Yeah. Thought so. Oh, good government policies. Stability, power, or money? I'll take the stability. To reduce the war. 1607, when I can change my focus, I'm going to shift to military focus because I think we're going to need that quite badly. Kanoi is now saying. I will now grab Powatahan. Santi is finished. Oh, Santi. There it is. We will grab Oanak. Now, we're at a much greater speed. We're at 95, and they're only at 65. So, we are going to be a lot faster than them. We do have, still have to move quickly. We've got to take as many provinces around them as possible. So, we don't encroach on the mainland too much. This America is ours. Belongs to us. Animalist zealots. They are animalist. What the hell? Why do they have animalist zealots? They are animalists. That doesn't make any sense. Whatever. What? Oh no, the king died. Ah oh, no. Well, that was destined to happen, wasn't it? 
Aber Gute Kiste da. Is off. Guess after all night we gotta take these. Yeah. Can't have these douchebags. Ooh, establish a presence in Canada. Crap. Give me that rebellion. Yeah, France is the undisputed king of Europe. And I don't know well, they have more provinces than Spain do, actually. At least in the northern and central. Bugger, bugger. Come here. Hey, where's the Incas? Oh, they're down here, they haven't really done much yet. I don't like the huge amount of land that Spain has. It's just an Iximish. Alright, Doog. Doog is finished. Hooray. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. We need to grab it in Canada. Oh, Canada. Ooh, a Mi'kmaq nationalist. Drinking. Oh, God. I was glad there was stability for that. My buddies are still okay. To gain a large amount of play. Since that one's done, we'll move colonizing on Pamelico. Pretty well. It's going very well. Force limits are growing. Just our general power is growing. We're going to become awesome. Yeah, 25 April 1607 is when we can do it. And oh, I will be. I will be. Oh, I should take these guys. Oh, that's a colony as well. When I have the men available, I should take these guys. Get a claim on you. Oh, that's why. It's because we don't have a border with Iroquois. Plan to taking all this territory because we get so much land for free with the Colonial Conquest CB. Let's take this province, and ideally this province as well. And then we can fabricate claims on all of them. And then annex them all. That'd be nice. That would be very nice. Almost there. 
Hold on. So close. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Is that the northern? Wasn't that the other? Oh my god, it was in Northern America. Oh, I'm so bad. I'm so bad at this game. I thought because that was that colour and it was the Canada region. Oh, hey, why isn't it more clear? It should be more clear. Ugh. How frustrating. I slowed down my colonization a bit. Ooh, let's see how much trade efficiency I gain. Ooh, additional manpower modifier, because we we finished all of it, by the way. We finished all our ideas. So this increases, uh, our trade is 14.21. It's increased trade division by 10%. Eh, not much, by 0.2. That's all right, but that's going to really add up the more, the more we go on. There we are. going in Northern America, so we will go here. Why have we lost the Overseas Colonial Conquest CB against... Oh, they lost land. The king, an heir of 342. That's okay. That's alright. Oh dear. I will take the corruption. How much between stability loss? Or... Horrible, horrible um, inflation, such as inflation. Oh, Fern Runnock. That's good. Very good value. Oh, yes, the Runnocki. They, they were very famous for their fur. How historical. I think four colonists is the most we're ever going to get. Only ever have five colonies at once. That's all right. I get. I would get the achievement of having four more colonies at once, at once, but I already have it. So. Hey, that's a fair one, these guys. Oh, an end of assimilation in Bahan. Thank you. Come again. Good. Okay, so the colony that isn't important, that is to say the colony that is, you know, basically because we have four colonists, how it works, we have four colonists that are actively pursuing, and one which just progresses based on the global settlement increase, it doesn't have a colonist, because I want to grab the land, and I'm, so I only have two colonies, so this colony will be the new one, which I don't really care, I'm just doing it to grab the land, because I'm going to move around it. So once the colonist has landed, I will take it away. And we'll take Whack-A-More. And then we'll be very close to having the entire lettuce line. The development of veneering. Initially intensive tropical wood could be too brittle. Ooh, veneering's value just went up. Uh, tropical wood just went up. Development of veneering, however, is going to be possible to make use of ebony in the tropical wood, associated with their beauty rather than their strength. As a result of the creation of beautiful and original cabinets, other prestigious furniture from tropical woods has grown to a major business. The value has just increased because of 35%. All right, I only have one that's tropical with us. Doesn't really help me. All right, we'll go that. These some bitches over here. And now you have another on there, and they're still making 120 a year. Look at this. And if we're lucky, we'll be able to grab that one as well. Next will be Paul Waterha. No, 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 not again, not again. Ah. 
Spain is allied with Great Britain, Portugal, Milan. Oh, Jesus. Spanish reconquest of Jerome. All right, well, we got to help. Holy shit, not good. Not good at all. Still some more carracks. Oh, I knew I should have upgraded my carracks. Oh dear. Oh, that's a lot of bad men. Take a new cavalry choice. Uh, small cast iron. Let's build some troops. Fight off this horrible invasion. Oh god, there's so many. Alright, we'll do this in the next episode. I was Aljon, I tend to be in this bin European Universalis for Aztec Sunset Invasion. I don't know why I just click save. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Bye bye.